Hey, 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 everybody, this is Lucas, and um, I'm doing a commentary again. Let's go! Apart from this time, it's not actually an SD Sundays video, which is kind of strange because I do a lot of SD Sundays videos, but ha, it's not one. Um, yeah, guys, I'm on holiday. Um, I think most of you are too. Easter holidays, yeah! Hello, uh, I'm, I'm in Lithuania, not in Easter. I can't be in Easter. What? That would be strange. Um, no, I'm in Lithuania, and the sun is shining outside, and it's kind of sunny and snowy, and it's just awesome. And it's not cloud and gloomy like Lincoln, so ha ha, if you're in England, no, I'm kidding, guys. But yeah, I'm having a good time. I'm here for another two weeks or something, and uh, and yeah, that's 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 kind of where I am right now. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to do commentaries just because I am. I don't really have that much time. Like I've got, it's not exactly a schedule, but I'm just kind of busy, and uh, I won't be able to do many commentaries. But I do have time now, so I am making one. And um, just quickly about the gameplay before I start my commentary. Oh, this is kind of funny. I'm doing ring a ring of roses with this kid, but uh, I get it. But yeah, a bit about the commentary. About the commentary, about the gameplay, uh, we do lose. Uh, this is a loss, um, sadly, but I do pretty well, so I do want to upload this still. I'm playing with my good friend Rory, and as you can see, guys, this is Meltdown Hardpoint. That's pretty strange. Uh, this map is not under rotation anymore for league play, uh, so you can just get an idea of how old this gameplay really is. I mean, it wasn't too long ago, but I'm not sure when they took out this map from league play, but it, it is quite lo um, long ago. Uh, I'm playing against like a clan of three, I think, it's the Jinx clan or something. So, um, yeah, that, that's it about the gameplay. But as you will see, guys, like this gameplay, um, I'm not sure how how well Rory is doing, but my my teammates were kind of terrible. I basically had to do all the work. So I hope you enjoy this gameplay. I kind of run into the hard points a lot and just pick up two and three pieces and just get loads of, loads of kills. So I hope you do enjoy that. But uh, today I want to talk about uh, motivation and lack of motivation sometimes as well. Um, as a commentary topic, and I think I've said this before. Like I sometimes I, I'm one of those people that delays stuff and like kind of does stuff at the last minute. So like homework or revision or something. Like I'm one of those people that will have a homework for like I don't know Monday, and we'll do it at like two a.m. like in the morning on Sunday or Monday, whatever. And uh, for revision as well, like I'll sit on the bus like the, on the day of the exam, not exam test, uh, exams or something else, but like tests that aren't that important but are somewhat important and I will do them more like on the bus in the morning before or something so I'm, I'm kind of good at delaying stuff because if I don't enjoy something guys, if I don't enjoy or have the motivation or the reason to do something, I really don't do it I'm not one of those people that's really good with doing stuff that they don't enjoy um, and sometimes it's hard for me to do videos um, not because I don't enjoy making them, um, it's because it's kind of hard to think of commentary topics sometimes, I mean I don't speak about gameplays just because personally when I w find uh, when I watch YouTubers I find it kind of boring to listen to them speak about the gameplay. I mean, before I used to, but now I just don't watch any casual kind of YouTubers. I watch the competitive gaming guys, and I'm not sure how this guy knows where I am and throws the C4. I'm not sure if the UAV was up, but I was confused. But yeah, as I was saying, I find it hard to just talk about the gameplay sometimes, so I speak about other things. And um, I I'm, I'm not sure, I haven't been thinking of like topics to speak about, but I guess this one just came about, so I'm just doing it right now. And, and the motivation to do commentaries, guys, it's sometimes kind of difficult. Uh, because, not only because if you can't find a topic, you can't make a, a video, but also because you kind of have to sit down and kind of speak to a PC monitor. Or your phone, which is recorded on, which is what this commentary is recorded on. So I'm kind of sorry if the um, quality isn't as good, because usually it is recorded with my Astros. But since I'm in Lithuania, I don't have all the equipment, so I cannot really, you know, do that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of hard, because you're speaking to a monitor, and it's a kind of a whole different thing. You don't exactly act like yourself uh, for a first few times. You kind of ease up over time, but until you do, it's, it, it's kind of strange and it's kind of weird and unnatural. Um, I'm not sure what this guy was doing, just camping in the corner. This is really strange. I was running around the hard point, trying to find the last guy who was contesting and I just could never find him. Maybe he was in one of these corners, but I'll never know. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's strange uh, speaking to a monitor and um, I don't know, I'm not sure if you guys have tried it, like doing commentaries or whatever, but it's it's not the most usual thing. And can, you kind of get used to it after a while when you do a lot, and then you kind of ease up a bit and start being like yourself and you know speaking like you would anyway. But until that, until that, it's kind of strange and it's kind of weird. But uh, that's that's about about the commentary. But I mean, not the commentary about about commentaries, doing commentaries and so on. Um, as for like, I, I talked about exams and so on, but like real exams, like for January, we have like, all right, so in A level. If you, I'm not sure if you guys know, but basically we have exams in January and June. Next year we'll only have exams in June, um, and just summer exams. But the kind of way that I did revision for my January modules, it's kind of funny. I didn't do any, th I didn't kind of do any work during like the term, and then finally when I came to Lithuania, I brought all my books, and over like a two-week span during the Christmas holidays, during Christmas, I just sat down and did loads and loads and loads of work. 
And funny enough, I actually played off, paid off. Like I got pretty good results, but I'm not gonna, you know, boast about these. But I'm kind of happy with them mostly. Um, and actually, this is what I'm doing right now, which is strange because um, I brought my books to Lithuania again for Easter. I have my math stuff. I mean, I have nine exams in the summer in like what six six weeks or something. I'm not sure, but I brought all my books to Lithuania to learn from, and that's kind of strange because I don't usually do that. I don't usually kind of sit down and do loads of work, but I'm not sure what motivates me exactly. I mean, obviously, I want to get to a good uni, uh, preferably Cambridge, through natural sciences. But the very fact that I don't usually do work and suddenly when I come to holiday, and I mean, I do work on holidays, like, that doesn't even make sense, guys. Like, you would think that I would do work during, like, the school days and so on, but no, that's, that's just not how it works. When I have time, I just do loads of past papers and revise then. So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's, it's Cambridge and wanting to get to Cambridge and doing natural sciences that motivates me, or if it's just me um, doing revision out of fear. Because to do nine, nine exams and to muck up in them and have your whole family disappointed in you and, and, and all that kind of stuff is not really good. So I'm not sure if it's motivation out of fear or whatever, but motivating by fear, while it sounds kind of sinister and evil, it, it sometimes kind of works. I mean, it's not exactly fear, it's kind of like expectation. Like, I kind of expect myself to get certain results and so does my family and me not achieving those is really upsetting, but obviously getting the good results is awesome. So I guess I do it for me as well as for other people, but that's just kind of about, about work. I mean. It varies for different people, but that's what it is for me. Um, I'm not sure what else I can say. And so, like, another thing about motivation, I'm, I'm kind of going on about motivation, I like this gameplay. It, Call of Duty. Um, if I didn't have a team, if I didn't have, like, a goal to play for, because, like, in COD, I don't really kind of play for KDs anymore. I don't play to get gold guns or, or camos or whatever. Like, I play to get better and I play to have fun as, like, a team. Like, that's why I kind of formed, I'm not sure if I said this, but I probably did say this before. And that's why I kind of formed the team is because we, I just got bored of playing public matches. God, like, because it's much, much better to play video games with friends. I think you've all, you all know this. But, like, if I didn't have friends to play COD with, I probably wouldn't be playing COD at all now. Just because whenever I play on my own, like, I get into a public match. Like, it's fine. Yeah, I get, like, loads of kills and it's really easy. As Henry said, pub matches just aren't, like, you know interesting anymore just because it's it's not a challenge and it, you don't you're not pushed to achieve anything more than just get loads of kills and and that kind of stuff but that's that's why we don't play pubs anymore and like as i was saying if i didn't have a team i just wouldn't have a reason to play but now i do i do have a team uh, my motivation is to get better and that's something that you can always do because unless you're the best player in the game like someone from optic or like some kind of optic scumpy guy like you're not gonna you're not gonna stop trying to achieve the best that you can do and i think that translates into many things whether it's school or if, you, if you're motivated to become the best, then you'll obviously put in loads of time to do it. And that's kind of obvious um, saying that, but that's just how it is. Like, I'm one of those people that literally does not settle for anything but the best. Like, when it comes to results, I really get annoyed if I don't get the best. Like, my friend, for example, there was a math C2 exam. I got 99 out of 100 UMS, and my friend got 100. And I was so angry that I didn't get 100 just because I wanted to get a good, you know, the result that he got. And everyone else was like going, you know, like, Lucas, don't don't be a dick, like, that's a pretty good result, like, I can't, don't pretend that it's not a good result and you're not happy with it. And the truth is, guys, like, I'm not completely happy with it, because I know that if I would have got 100, I would have been the best. And I don't, that's why I kind of find it hard to, like, look at other unis, like, to apply to. Because my mum keeps on saying, like, stop concentrating on Cambridge, like, look at other stuff, you're not going to apply to just one uni. And while that's true, like, I find it hard to look at other unis just because whenever I do, I open up their page, read about their course, read about the university, and I say, well, it's not as good as Cambridge. Like, in Cambridge, this is better, or, like, uh, this is worse, or this is not as good. And it, that's just kind of, like, what, I, what I'm like. It, anything but the best is just not good for me. And I kind of expect that from myself and from others, and sometimes I can be a bit harsh on others, but, but that's, that's just how stuff is. So, I kind of rambled on about, um, kind of, communi not communication, about motivation for a long time for like a whole 10 minutes it seems uh, so, so I'll stop now but I hope you guys uh, get what, where I'm coming from um, and I'm not sure I mean, there's not really any lesson that can be learned from this unless you kind of take it kind of take something from this but that's just kind of me rambling about motivation um, so I hope you enjoyed it but yeah as you can see we lost this game quite convincingly um, 200 I think the game was like 240 248 or something but we didn't do too well um, but I, as you can see, I picked up a lot of kills, so that's kind of why I posted this video. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm not sure when I'll make my next video, I mean, obviously Henry made one, um, a few days ago, 
and um, I've downloaded, not downloaded, I've recorded a few gameplays when I was at Henry's Land as well, so I do have some at my disposal, I mean I can make some, but I'm not sure how the things will go. As you see the game, we ended with only two people, me and uh, Rory. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this commentary, and um, I'll speak to you guys soon, I guess.